Mr. System Magic has a telekinesis spell that lets you move objects and throw them over great distances. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Greetings everybody and welcome back to some more adventures with Krim Grossen, the, the green Jesus you all know and hate. We are finally outside of the sewer and it's raining like crazy outside and even still the butterfly is flying around. And we're not gonna need the torch to thank you for this. And uh, as I said, I'm not gonna use any armor, but I'm going to sell it. And I think just for now we might as well keep it on us. But something that uh, armor does is that it, it decreases the spell effectiveness. So we only have 62% of the effect of all our spells. So that's why I think I want to like take this... <sighs> Take this off, put on your pants, have the sandals, and maybe the wrist irons, just because more weight to the hand, more strong punch. And now you can see we have 100% spell effectiveness. Um, and orcs, they have berserk, which is a great power, you can only use it once every 24 hours. And it will make us very stronger and a lot of fatigue, uh, but our agility will be drained to basically zero. And that will make us um, go down and not have good balance when enemies hit us. But it can be very good in uh, dire situations, so I'm gonna keep it at 8. The bow at 1, torch at 2. I think we're not gonna use the torch so much right now, because we're gonna be outside. But uh, let's see, we're gonna need healing. Um, absorb. That's nice. Soothing touch. Comes up to level 4 for 15 seconds, so they don't attack us anymore. And not so much light would be quite handy. We're gonna replace torch with that. So we're gonna keep this there. Summon skeleton, we're gonna use that a lot. Uh, starlight, might as well have it there. And a normal attack spell, have it on 5. And turn undead will make an undead fight for us up to level 5. So let's just keep it there. So that's how it looks. So now we can summon a skeleton and it looks so cool. Look at that. There he is. He's spooky. I know it says Krim Grossen's skeleton, but we're gonna uh, call this guy mm, Spooky or Mr. Spooky, something like that. And we can actually punch him and all that, but he's so nice. He will fall us around. He will just wreak havoc with his axe and that's going to help us a bunch. Now, right behind us, we have, let's see, the Imperial City. And this is another mod I'm using, a color map, I think it's called. And it makes the map, I think it makes it bigger, or maybe it's the darn UI which makes it big like this. But it, it gives it color, and I like it. So we could go into the major city, sell some stuff, talk to people, or we can just head out into the world and just explore, what, do whatever we want. And as I said in the last episode, you are more than welcome to leave a comment to let me know what you, you want me to do or where you want me to go. Um, the quest we got from him was to go over to Wainan Priory and give the amulet to Joffrey. And I guess we could do that. Maybe. We shall see. We're just gonna go around and explore a little bit first. With our spooky! So let's jump into the water and just head into this amazing world and see what happens. Right off the bat, we have a temple of some sort. It's called Vilverin. Vilverin. And we got some XP for discovering a new location. Uh, we're gonna save our game right here. And. Over there is some kind of bandit. I think he sees me. You can see the stealth icon down there. When it's transparent, they can't see you. When it is not a transparent, they can see you. So I'm gonna enable my bow. And try to shoot him from here. Let's see. Right. No, no, don't move. Don't. No, he sees me! Or does he? Does he? No, I don't think he does. Yes! Times free damage. Get over here, good sir. Fuck. <laughs> uh, away with the bow. Say hello to Spooky for me. 
This is an epic battle of the century. Are you really losing to a skeleton? Okay, I'm just gonna run in and punch you! See, the um, summons can uh, tank the enemies while you do something else. He dropped an iron skimitar. Uh, worth money, but uh, it weighs... Uh... You know what? We're gonna loot many stuff here. So we're gonna make some money. Uh, we're gonna loot that, that, that iron... Uh, some pants. A new pair of pants. Let's see, how do they look? Eh. No, I'm gonna use a sack clothes. <laughs> Alright, let's continue with this. Any more over here? Yes, someone sees me. I die? Oh, there she, he is. Right, he's using a bow and arrow. Uh, I'm gonna... S Shit! I'm gonna spoil my spooky! hide behind him and I could actually heal him but I don't have any healing spells on others right now so he's gonna punch him you kill spooky oh shit you have some kind of mace oops I punched my own skeleton come on spooky get him I trust you Fuck. come on spooky you have a sword this time that's pretty cool I'm just gonna hide behind him. Come on, Spooky, I know you can kill him. I want to see you kill him. Never mind that. There we go. Nice job, dude. We get a lot of XP for killing these guys. A lot of arrows. Is there a key to like take all of them without getting that how many? Hmm, I don't think so. All right, Iron Bow. I think that's better than what we have. Uh, light armor, nice, they're worth money. And don't weigh so much. Some mutton. Immortal blood. Our hand to hand skill increased, alright. By Anonymous, okay. The moons and stars were hidden from sight, making that particular quiet night especially dark. The town guard had to carry torches to make the rounds. But the man who came to call at my chapel carried no light with him. I came to learn that Movarth Pigwin, Pigwin could see in the dark almost as well as the light. An excellent talent, considering his interests were exclusively nocturnal. Uh, how long is this? Oh my god, 16 pages. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna read through all of this in commentary. Uh, but you can pause if you want to read it. It seems like a nice story. But uh, no reading 16 pages right now. Not my kind of thing. But we're gonna take the book, so we might read it later. I don't know, but yeah. Pause this shit if you want to read it. Let's take the book. Maybe? How much is it worth? 25. Okay. Let's take it. A sack with a potion of healing. Some garlic. Nothing of use. I really suck at collecting ingredients. There we go. Some leather shoes. Some arrows. So let's see, was that bow better than what we had? Yes, we had the rusty bow. And we're gonna change it into the normal iron bow instead. But we can sell it. But it weighs 10 and it, it is worth 10. So maybe not. So we're gonna drop it right here. Goodbye, boat. You served us quite well. Something in here? Nope. And our skeleton is dead. How sad. Ew. Right, I guess we're gonna head into this kind of... Dunion? Place? Let's uh, save first, I guess. And uh, let's head inside. Now, very recently, I recorded... I mean, I completed the new Yoshi game, Yoshi Woolly World, 100% uh, with my friend. And uh, we unlocked all of the songs. And then I recorded all of the songs um, in very good quality. Uh, let's see, you can use the light spell. Where is it? There it is. Nice. Very nice. And I've uploaded it on my Crimson Crap channel. So it uh, would be... Very nice if you could head over there and check out my soundtrack of uh, Woolly World. 
or it's not mine. Oh shit. Not my soundtrack, but uh, it is recorded in very high quality and you can download it in uh, very high MP3 quality. So please head over to Crimson Crap and check out the Wooly World soundtrack. That game has amazing music. Really, and it deserves to be listened to. Oh, I think this light will affect my stealthiness. So let's just stay over here and try to shoot this one in the head. He did not notice that. Or maybe she... There we go! Nice, we actually killed her. She was just level 1, so maybe that's why she died right away. Oh, look at that. Right in the head. That's so gruesome. Fine iron war axe. Uh, more pants? Uh, ew, no, no. Please don't. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. We're gonna collect clothes. Sack. Bread loaf! Yay. And here's another trap. You know what? We could use this trap to our advantage, really. So we're gonna save here. Jump over this one. Stealth. And try to listen. It seems like they're talking. Goodbye. Oh, I don't see anything. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna increase the music a little bit. Because we don't hear it so much. There we go. <gasps> boop, 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 boop. There was one of them. I don't think you can see me here in the darkness. So yes, please turn around so I can shoot you in the head. Or maybe we can just lure him towards the trap and see if the trap can kill him. But I think they are the ones who set it up, so they should know where the trap is. And there's another one. Alright. No, no! Okay. One of them will go down now, I hope. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, he saw me! Nope! Run, run, run! Uh, trap, jump! Jump over it! <laughs> Perfect! Uh, we didn't get any XP for that, but I don't care. That was really nice. And no one else is after us. Sack, clove, pants, same shit. Take that. Take all of it. Thank you, spiky balls. Go away now. Alright, was that all of them? Oh, there is another one over there. Alright. It's bow time. Right over by the barrel. This is your lucky day. You'll stay out of my way. <laughs> this is going very well, actually. Some flour. I bought you some flowers. Flowers? I don't want any damn flowers. Just go away. I'm ugly. Green robe. Hmm. Iron Greaves. Hogs. Oh, someone is talking. But we can't hear them from here. We don't know what they're talking about. There's another one. Don't go away, don't go away. I have a present for you. Shit. <laughs> they don't see that. Shit, he did not die. God damn it. Oh, you're also using bow and arrow. There we go! Yes. Very easy. And it's locked. I don't know what this is, really. I think you need a spell in order to open it. I don't know what this is. Torches. We have a bunch of them. Iron claymore. Oh, look at this. I have some equipment we can just steal. And that's worth a lot. How much do we have? We have 133 of 225. And no, I don't think we will. But we will take this. Collect all of the arrows. Huntsman leather pants. That sounds nice. Let's see how this looks. <sighs> all right. <laughs> I guess we will go with that. 
And what do you have on you? More arrows. More equipment. Good. Let's go ahead and save. Right there. Mm -hmm. And also this stone that we found. Let's see. <laughs> Fuck yeah, this will bring some havoc. Um, where is it? There it is. Uh, Welkind stone. They are worth a lot, as you can see, compared to the weight. And when you use them, they will recover your magic fully. And that's another way when you use the Atronach birth sign, where you don't have, um, you know, uh, magic regen. And so you can use them to recover all of it. And that's what I said before when... Uh, well, that's what I meant before when I said that I, was, that I wanted to go with a high elf with the Atronach sign. Because you will have a... Damn rats. Always skirting around in the shadows. Making me jumpy. <laughs> that made you jump. <laughs> I feel sorry for that guy. But yeah, going with a high elf with Atronach uh, birth style will give you a lot of fucking magic. And so using those stones and potions, you don't really need mana regen. And also you have that uh, spell absorption. And you can also summon creatures that will cast spell at you to... Um, oh. To increase... Um, to, to, yeah, to refill your magic. But I want to have mana regen, and I want to have that extra speed, which the steed gives us. Oh, we leveled up. Nice. We didn't even get a sound cue for that. But see, there's so many of them. So, I'm kind of regretting this decision. Maybe I want to be a high elf with that and have a ton of magic and be a pure mage. But no, we're gonna go with green Jesus. And um, I want to have, you know, marksman, sne sneak, and hand-to-hand. -hand. That's the way I want to play it. Alessia, Alessia, Otto's guide to the Imperial City. Praise Akatosh, bless the Empire and all its people. My name is Alessia, Otus, and I'd like to tell you all about the Imperial City. No thanks. We will read that another time. There's some money here. And an apple. Apples! A dirty scroll. Some of the men were worried about these old ruins being haunted, but Mephala, Mephala, take them. This spot's going to be perfect for ambushing merchants along the road, and all under the nose of the Imperial Legion. You know, this isn't a very big, I mean, secret hideout. It's pretty damn obvious where you are. Finally, got some of those big blue stones down today. Uh, Baris got the idea to shoot them down with her bow. Got, got them all here with me. Oh, that's the the ones we just took. I don't know what they are, but they stink of magic, or magica. I was gonna say magic. Uh, bet they'll fetch a nice price with the Mage's Guild. Mhm. Mm Two coins and that Khajiit from Vardenfell set up their camps down in the tomb. Fine by me. Spares the rest of us the smell. <laughs> so the Khajiit are down there. From Vardenfell, very close to Morrowind. Two coins ran up today. Oh, that's a name. That's a stupid. A Khajiit name. Two coins ran up today. The Khajiit's gone, missing. Swore to the Nine that you could hear Claus scrambling at limestone, but nothing's down there. I'm guessing she got tired of the smell and snuck out overnight. Two coins stench could peel shells of mud crabs. <laughs> I'm surprised she hung around for that long. Alright, uh, that was cool. We got XP for reading that. And now when we have the XP bar filled and that icon there, we can press here and we can click to level up whenever we want to. So we're gonna do that. Uh, just gonna save first. You never know. I have ascended to level 2. I realized that all my life I have been coasting along as if I were in a dream. Suddenly, facing the trials of the last few days, I have come alive. So now we have 13 points of attribute, and we can increase whatever we want. And um, we can only increase it to a maximum of 5. And um, we want our personality to be a little bit higher than that. And um, we can only increase our luck once. But with this mod, you can increase it to 5 times. But I'm gonna keep it like vanilla, you can only increase luck once per level. And that's why I'm gonna keep it just once per level for luck. 
And uh, yeah, luck has an effect on everything you do. And I don't think I've gone through what all of these does, so let's just do that right away. Uh, maybe we can do that in the next episode. No, let's just do it now. Uh, so strength affects how much you can carry, how much fatigue you have, how much damage you can do with melee weapons and all that. So basic shit there. Intelligence, it only affects the total of magic you have and um, what type of spells you can use, but it doesn't make the spells stronger like in some games. Willpower will increase our mana regen, so having the Atronach birth sign will make willpower very you know, useless. It only increases our fatigue. But now we have a lot of willpower and it increases our mana region and our fatigue. So we, we like that. Agility, maneuver, balance, total fatigue and damage done by both. Speed, how fast you move, that's basically it. Endurance affects how much fatigue you have. So you see a lot of attributes increase your fatigue. And how much health will increase when you sleep and raise levels. Um, yeah, it increases our maximum health as well. And I think we want to increase this pretty early on, because our health will increase um, depending on how much endurance we have for each level. So increasing endurance is pretty damn crucial in the beginning, if you want high health later on. So personality, endurance, and let's see, we can increase some agility? Or maybe some speed. Nobody's going to increase agility. Right, and now we have skill points. So, uh, skills we don't have in our specialization or major skill will cost four in uh, the novice territory. And novice is from one to 25. Uh, yes, and then 25 is apprentice. And that costs four now. And when you reach uh, apprentice with this, it will cost five. And then later on, when you reach 50, it will cost uh, six and so on. Uh, athletics, as we because we have that as a major skill, it is easier to increase, I mean cheaper, and we start at Apprentice. So that's really nice. We're gonna increase our athletics a little bit. Hand-to-hand, uh, -hand, of course, we need to increase that very much, so we can just kick everybody's ass. Uh, alchemy, no... See, all of the magic, um, because we have uh, magic as our specialization, all of these are one cheaper to increase and since we have these as major skill they only cost two to increase so increase some conjuration some illusion and some restoration kind of like that i think that's all for now and uh, what else do we have marksmanship we're gonna need that to be increased and also stealth is very handy so yeah i think i think we're gonna go with this for now done and for some reason it uh, lags a little bit here. I clicked, but it doesn't do anything. And there we go. Uh, welcome to Oblivion XP. Since this is your first time using the system, the level up menu will now open so you can restore your attributes and skills to you. Okay. That's weird. All right, I I'm just going to redo it and we will end this part here. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, as always, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.